Hey guys, it's Gay Gay. Welcome back. This is today's look. So if you're interested in how I did this look, just stay tuned, watch the video, and I hope you like and subscribe. It is appreciated, so like and subscribe, because it's appreciated. I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, so I went in with the Professional Primer for today. And I'm going to go in with the Anastasia um, Dip Brow Pomade for my brows. But I think I've got it too dark. This is in dark brown. I just put some on the back of my hand and I work with it from there. But I think it's just it's too dark. So I don't think I'm going to end up using it. I can tell by looking at it. So we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how she do me. So I went in with um Max Paint Pot Soft Ochre to prime my eyes. And so now I'm going into the Tarte Palette. I'm going to use that as my highlight for the brow bone. I'm going to use this one right here. I might change this color up just but right for right now, this is what I'm going to go with. And I'm just going to leave that. I'm not going to bring it down right now. And the eyebrows are right. They're a little too, little too dark for me. As you get older, I know for me, I like a lighter brow as I get older. Because it doesn't seem so harsh on the face. So, I try to stick with... um dark browns if I can but that pomade is a little too dark so I'm in the James Charles palette and I'm taking this color color right here this one right here yeah that's where I'm at that's where I'm at and I'm just taking that as my transition and working it in my crease and so that's what I'm doing I'm blending Remember, blend, blend, blend. It is your makeup's best friend. You must blend. You must blend. Okay, so I'm going back into my Tarte palette, and I'm taking this light tannish color here, and I'm going on top of that because I want to change that color. I don't want it so pink as I do peach. I want it a peachy color so instead of looking for a color I'll just put this on top and change it out and blending it in to get the color that I want I like it okay I'm gonna go in and I'm going to cut my crease Ooh. I think I'm going to do just a half. Yeah, let's just do a half. Okay, guys, we're going to go in with this white. It's kind of washed out on here. You can't really can't see it. This one and this one. So I'm going to see which one. You can't see it. It probably looks the same to you. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to go in. And this is from the James Charles palette. It's the mini. Excuse the air condition, guys. I forgot to turn it off. So we're just filling this cut in. And hopefully it doesn't show all the veins in my eyes. Because whenever, for mature skin, when you're older and you use satins and metallics, sometimes they... um 
really show the veins and everything in your eyes. That's why I usually like to put a matte down first of the same color and then I'll put a shimmer or satin over it, but I didn't do that this time. I wasn't thinking. I hadn't done that in a couple of times actually though. But yeah, I'm just filling in this cut. Okay, so I took those two whites and I went in and now I'm going to go in with this white under my brow bone so I can get my brow bone to kind of match my cut. I want that a little lighter now. I kind of have a direction in where I'm going. like that and then I'm gonna bring that down and marry everything together just want to lay my colors down right now just like that okay I'm taking this black right here and I'm gonna go right in my outer corners and we're gonna make this a black and white look so, yeah. just working this in my V and in my cut Going back into the black and patting it on. I don't know if I want to really blow it out. I don't know yet. I guess I probably will, but. careful working with black because and I'm gonna mix some brown in that I know just how you feel but this time love's for real and y'all I can't sing but when I'm not on camera, I'm jamming. I just don't have any copyrights, any music, and I don't know how to do all that. So I just, you know, I can't play it while I'm doing the makeup. But I'm so used to, I wear makeup. I put on makeup and I jam. I think a lot of people do, but you know, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, this is what we're doing here. Okay. So, I need to blend that out, and we'll do the other side. Okay, so we are taking this pink, this purple rather, and we're mixing it in with this black. Black is really hard to blend. So you, you usually have to put other colors with it to help blend it out. Well, I do. put a dark brown or something like that but I'm just using this pink in it and that's all I'm doing right now is just blending this eye out blending it out okay and then I'm gonna go in with this little gold right here and I'm going to place that right between the white and the dark black, dark black, the black. And it's going to be really, really light, but it's going to help those colors to blend together. And my, I got a little out of the 
line up there and I don't know why but it's just gonna be like that as I'm not gonna try to correct it but I'm just placing that between the white and the black and blending it together yeah I see they blend better like that yeah okay well my lashes are drying I'm going in with the Becca foundation on the back of my hand and I'm going to place that all over this dries real quick so oh I meant to use that Juvia's place uh, next time did a video yesterday where I used the Marc Jacobs foundations for the second time and this the first time I thought I saw a white film but I wasn't really sure what was going on if it was my primer or something but no it's that foundation for some reason it just turns I mean it turns stock white on me I don't know what's the deal if anybody has tried that and has done that to you let me know but it went, I mean, it turned snow white. Okay, so we're going in with our contour and we are highlighting. Highlighting and concealing. Under the eye. You bring it up. I don't know what kind of face I be making on. <laughs> Ooh, putting on makeup is not a pretty sight, is it? Oh, no, they're talking. But this time love's for real. Now we're going to set this. So we're setting with a Sasha Buttercup in yellow. Well, that's why it would be Buttercup. Okay, so I'm going to go in to the Contra palette, and it's Black Radiance, and it has become my favorite. It truly has. What's your favorite part of makeup? I think my favorite part is contouring. This part right here, I think, is my favorite part. I like the eyes, but eyes are, you know, it's work. It's work to think of what you're going to do, how you're going to do it. It's work. But right now, I'm just contouring, making this forehead five, this five head four, I mean. Giving it a smaller appearance. And getting rid of this gobble gobble to make it look like I have not been eating brownies and M&Ms and non-dairy ice cream. And, oh, I just need to go on a diet, period. <laughs> okay, now we're going in with the Fenty Bronzer. I think it's caramel. And I'm just going to powder bronze. Well, I'm using it as contour, too. That's what I'm doing, actually. I 
And I think I'm going to go in with the MAC blush. I guess I'll go back in with the MAC blush. Okay, guys, so I went in with a brown lip liner and I went in with my an old Avon lipstick I use as a lip topper to lighten up my lipsticks when they're too dark. And then I just put a little bit of this diamond gloss on top. And this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So hit like and subscribe. Hit like and subscribe. Stop it. And I will holla at you.